Last night's Critics' Choice Awards prompted some amazing meme-worthy moments, but nothing like Chelsea Handler destroying her ex, Joe Coy. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signal. We got a recap last night of the Critics' Choice Awards where, yes, Chelsea Handler destroyed Joe Coy, who, if you don't remember, bombed at the Academy Awards and has since complained that Hollywood is too soft. They're a bunch of marshmallows. Maybe just tell jokes that you don't have to apologize for on stage because they were so unfunny, Joe. That's just my two cents. I want to play you these clips because they're pretty telling. Also, we got to go through this Ryan Gosling meme and Ariana DeBose creating a lot of controversy over her reaction to a joke. And I got to say, I, I'm siding with her on this one. But let's go through all this, shall we? All right, we got to go back to what Joe Coy said. Now, Joe Coy was hosting the Golden Globes last week. And yes, he made fun of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And that was a pretty solid joke. But even after that, he like apologized for it because he didn't think it was as funny as it should have been. And here's an example of sort of him bombing on stage. What casting directors call character actor. <laughs> Silence from the crowd. Silence as he's talking about Barbies, flat-footed, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, just bombing. He was constantly bombing. And he's laughing because he realizes, like, oh, God, this is awful. Some I wrote, some other people wrote. Robert De Niro's here! <laughs> so he throws his writers on the bus. Some of these jokes I wrote, some of them I didn't write. No, I got the gig 10 days ago. You want a perfect monologue? Yes, don't take the gig unless you're confident with it. For real. Don't take a gig unless you can handle it. And don't Accept jokes that you don't feel like are good enough. That's your job as a host, dude. Of course it falls on you. Yo, shut up. You got, you're kidding me, right? No, no one's kidding you. Slow down. I wrote some of these, and they're the ones you're laughing at. Look. I mean, yikes. Dude just threw his writers under the bus just to get some extra cred and justify why he's bombing. Well... Well, let's get to what Chelsea Handler did because, yes, she responded to that. She did a very classy uh, diss, a, but it completely destroys Joe Coy, which I didn't realize, yeah, they had been together. Now, Joe Coy was a regular on her show, Chelsea Lately, for a long time. And then fast forward, I guess it was a few years ago, they were an item for a year or two, and then they broke up. Now, uh, Chelsea couldn't help and couldn't resist uh, throwing some shade at, Chel at, uh, at at her ex. See how this goes. She tells this joke. Okay, so I'm not hitting on you, but I am hitting on you. She did this whole awkward bit about how she's the opposite of Leonardo. She likes old dudes. Unfortunately, Martin Scorsese isn't here tonight, but that's not going to stop me from letting everyone in this room know that I would toss him around like a little Italian meatball. Bill Hader giving a Taylor Swift reaction of... He's like, should I laugh? I want to get cast in a Martin Scorsese picture, so I'm not going to laugh. Thank you for laughing at that. My writers wrote it. Oh, and everybody catches that because it's not just like, oh, yay, writers. No, this was like a, ooh, because everyone in that room knew Joe Coy blamed his writers. And the applause is very telling. Look, Chelsea Handler is, like, love or hate her, she's a pro. She's an absolute pro. She's been doing this for a while. I've seen her live. My wife's a fan, and I've, I'm a fan. I like a lot of her stuff. She has, she gives no Fs. She gives no Fs, and she goes out there and does what she wants. And yes, uh, that's a huge jab, a huge destruction of Joe Coy. And Joe Coy just looks like an idiot because, again, he's out there trying to justify this. Can we just laugh at ourselves? Hollywood is so soft. It's full of marshmallows. Uh... This is this where was a lot a lot of marshmallows, man. They're delicious, but G G O D damn, they're soft. I just come from a different time. I see the changes that are happening. I get it, but damn, can we f and laugh at ourselves? The audience roared with applause, and some of the audience yelled f them. Uh, I got a feeling none of you mother effers watched it, and I'm kind of happy. Oh my god, it feels good to live in this country. We get to say what we want to say. Don't be apologetic about it all. Be able to speak your mind. So he's just victimizing himself because. His writers did it, guys. And he later then apologized because he realized he was throwing his writers under the bus and he had to thank them because he looked like an ungrateful POS. Uh, look, I, I initially in my review of him was he had a couple good jokes. Some of them definitely bombed. Overall, I'm not a fan of how he presented this. And I don't like this post PR tour where he keeps talking about bombing. He's been all over the press doing any interview to talk about, yeah, I bombed. Oh, my. 
Taylor Swift didn't react. Taylor Swift's reaction was weird to me because I think she was just trying to play along, like, no comment. It also doesn't help that he bungles the punchline. Yeah, fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. There's just more to go to here. I mean, so now she clearly didn't find it funny <laughs> watching that test there. But the fact that she talked the drink to me was like she was trying to play along, like, no comment. But yeah, look at those eyes. Even her friends, like, rolling her eyes, like, mm. Uh, <laughs> She's, she was clearly annoyed. Uh, she was clearly annoyed. So he knew this, and he had to apologize for it, and there we go. But uh, the best reaction of the night came from Ryan Gosling, who surprised everybody, and this was a legitimate surprise because Billie Eilish didn't win for the Barbie song. Instead, Barbie. I'm just Ken from Barbie won, and Ryan's face. <laughs> like, wait, what just happened? What just happened? Billie Eilish didn't get it for one. Mark Ronson, who produced it, got it. And they're, everyone's just in disbelief. <laughs> but I love that this has now become a ma massive meme. I can't. Hold on. I got to mute it so you don't hear the song. I, re I do really like him. He seems very genuine. But of course, now the internet has gone wild uh, using this meme. And I'm sure con will continue to as he becomes a big deal. Now, that wasn't the only meme from the night. Uh, Ariana DeBose, who is a very accomplished singer and actress, uh, as this tweet justifiably says, Oscar award winning, Tony nominated OG cast member of Hamilton on Broadway, which Anthony Ramos, the guy here also was on. It was a co-star with her. Uh, and they, uh, now I don't, I don't, I don't fault the actress here who's clearly just reading the teleprompter. And then there are the actors who also think that they're singers. She's setting up the best song nominees and she lists Billie Eilish and the singers and then goes to the actors that also sing, who think they're singers. Jack Black. First of all, highly disrespectful Jack Black. Jack Black is a wonderful singer of Tenacious D. Respect Jack Black's name. Peaches was amazing. He's a great singer. <laughs> but fine, he's a comedian. Ariana DeBose. Ariana DeBose. And now she's, and she's already seeing this coming, and she's like, and Ken himself Huh? Himself. Like, I'm an actor who thinks I'm a singer? Be I'm a Broadway Hamilton cast member, Tony nominated Oscar award winning from a musical, mind you. Uh, but then she attempts to just sort of like, are you serious? Can you feel the Kennedy? Can you feel the Kennedy? And then Ryan Gosling is the third actor who thinks he's a singer and he doesn't think he's a singer. He was forced to sing. It was a terrible joke. The, whoever wrote this bit was worse than... Did Joe Coy write this bit? Because Or Joe Coy's bad writers write this bit? Because it was a terrible joke. And the fact that Anthony didn't catch it and be like, oh, my, my girl Ariana is a, is a singer. He should have, but I guess he didn't want to do a Joe Coy and throw the writers under the bus. But in this instance, someone didn't do their research and this joke, awful. Who I, no, Someone didn't spot check this and think, well, wait a second. That doesn't make sense. I don't know whose fault it is for the rest of the show, but someone should definitely get punished because she did not like it. She reacted. Uh, she, no, I didn't find it funny, LOL. I agree with her. On this one, I don't think she overreacted. I think the face was fair. It was a respectful what the F sort of look. Uh, and I think, uh, I don't blame the host. The right the people are just reading a prompter. They don't know. I mean, the truth is, not a lot of people know who Ariana DeBose actually is. Uh, she's more of a niche person that, if you know, she, the Oscar definitely helped her uh, her star caliber, but I would argue most of middle America wouldn't know who she was if they saw her in a picture. She's not a massive bankable celebrity yet. That said, respectful, actual Broadway star, Tony nominated. Yes, she's not an actor who thinks she can sing. <laughs> and uh, I don't blame her. What the? Really? Really, dude? You were in Hamilton with me. Really? This is what we're doing here? Okay, I see you. Uh, that's how it felt to me. What do you guys think? What was the most offensive part to you? Uh, do you applaud Chelsea Handler for calling out her ex? Uh, do you like Ryan Gosling's uh, reaction here of disbelief? Uh, and what are your thoughts on Ariana's uh, actual what the F moment here? Give us your comments on the best moments of the Critics' Choice Award. It is award season. Emmys are tonight. Should we stream it? Should we watch it live tonight? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll see how this one does, how the awards coverage does. Uh, watch uh, tonight. Hit that bell for all alerts. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet. And stay tuned. We have more videos coming for you soon.